This is video 5 for week 8, and it covers slides 17 till 20. And it just sort of explains what the practice activity is that we'll do during our MS Teams time, meet time, if you're able to attend class. So probably what I'll do is I will invite someone to be a patron or a client, and I'll be the IT help desk person and I'll demonstrate the practice activity for you. So I will demonstrate how I would show the uh, client that they're in the right place, that I'm available, contact has been made, and I understand their topic. And I would demonstrate how I would use open questions to find out what they know, what they've already done, what they want to learn, um, not just the easiest answer, but exactly what they want to learn how they're going to use the information. And then what I'll do is, um, and I might, I, I'll try to explain how I incorporate UDL in finding them an answer. And then what I'll do is I will assign you to work with a partner and you'll go out to um, one of the chat rooms, the channels that we have, and you'll work with the person um, strictly online, no talking whatsoever. And we'll just have a chat, okay? We, we'll make this a chat one, not um, an audio help desk. It's just going to be one where you chat back and forth typing. And you'll take turns being the IT help desk person. So one person will be help and the other one will be the client. And I'll assign um, a topic. If you can't think of one, you can, you can use the topic that I assign. And um, the person that's the client will ask the question, and the other person will go through the interview, best practices for interviews, best practices for incorporating UDL in their solution, and then um, you'll switch. And then we'll debrief, and we'll talk about how this experience compared with your usual help desk experience, maybe with Bell or Rogers or somewhere like that, or at the IT Commons here at Durham College. Um, We'll talk about how you felt when you were the IT support person, because it's nerve-wracking being on an IT help desk, in my opinion. So we'll see how you felt, and if knowing about those best practices helped you give a better performance, give a better answer. And as the client, um, if the person followed all those best practices and gave you a solution that was according to your learning preferences, talk about how you felt about it. So that's my plan for week eight when you're back from reading week. And hopefully I will see you in class that week. Okay, so that's what we did this week. And next week, week nine, we'll be starting a unit on diversity. Thanks and have a great week.